Hey, what up, G fans? In today's video, I'll be going over a couple of tips for you people to start building your collection. These fragrances are gonna be fragrances that you're gonna be using for different type of situations. So with no further ado, let's just dive right into the video. So the very first thing you should know when you're first building your collection is that you need to find your signature scent, okay? A signature scent is pretty much a fragrance that can be used all year around spring, winter, summer, and fall, and also in every other situation. Just because you have a signature scent does not mean these fragrances are gonna outperform fragrances that are meant for those particular situations. So some fragrance recommendation as a signature scent, you have like an Aqua Di Gio Profumo, and you even have um, Dior Sauvage Elixir. These fragrances are good all year round on this, and it's very good to become a signature scent for you and to start off your collection. So now you found your signature scent. Now we're gonna try to attack the season, all right? So spring and summer are gonna consider your warm season as your fall and winter are gonna be considered your cool season, all right? So for those, you wanna have one fragrance to cover both of those seasons, all right? So fragrance recommendation for you, I would say for the spring and summertime, I will go for Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. It's very good for the high heat. So entering the cool month, we're gonna go with Azuro Wanted by Night. Now this is a warm, spicy, and very cozy and inviting. Perfect for the cooler months. In a replacement for Azuro Most Wanted, I technically will go with Spice Bomb Extreme for the cooler months, but I currently don't own that fragrance. But that's another fragrance I recommend you to check out, especially for that type of weather. So now you have your signature scent. You have your fragrance for the warm month and for the cooler months, right? So now you want to move over to having fragrances for different situations. These different situations should be the office, the club, and date night. So for some recommendation, for the office, we have Prada Long. It's a nice, fresh, soapy, comes off with a nice white tea vibe. So if you're looking for fragrance for date night, you have Dolce Gabbana The One. This is tobacco full of warm sexiness. And now entering the club, you can go with Le Mans La Parfum. This is a nice, sexy, playful fragrance, and it's awesome for the club. So these selection of fragrances are good for different situation. You do not need over 100 fragrances to satisfy yourself unless you are a collector. But if you're looking to have a fragrance for different type of situation, these fragrances that was recommended will do the job. So if you're looking to start your collection, check this video right here as I go over 10 fragrances that's going to help you kickstart your collection. Peace out.